Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of DIY today. What I got here is my old Apple keyboard. This white thing is what I used to use all the time before the arrow keys stopped working. So I didn't like this keyboard that much. It was a bit of a pain to use. This control key was a little sticky. And it was just a pain in the ass to type on. What I got here was this. This nice keyboard. Filco keyboard. This one's much better. But the problem with this is that it doesn't have any USB ports in it. There's nowhere to plug in the mouse. This Apple keyboard had a couple in there. So you could use one of these for your mouse and you could plug in some other stuff there when you were when you were working. It was pretty easy to use. So I like this, but I don't like the keys. I like this, but I don't like that there's no USB port. So now basically with my setup, I've got I've got my computer in there. And the two USB ports are taken up by a keyboard and a mouse. I got nothing free there, it's Apple MacBook, but I need a I need at least one of those ports free for plugging in other stuff. So what I'm gonna do today is take this old Apple keyboard and just use it for what I want. So I'm going to take this USB hub out of here, dump the rest of the keyboard, and wrap it up in something that will make it easy to use. So if you want to do this, you've got to get these screws out here. There's three of them. These are called Torx screws. And i got one of these Torx screwdrivers to take them out with. I don't know what it's like, but it's a small one. Let's pop this little fella out here. Yes. It's the smallest torch that there is. Or is it? Hmm. that just comes off like that. It's easy. Yeah, there's some sort of, I don't know what that rubbish is. Something in there I don't need anyway. So I got this off, I got the keyboard and it's attached by, you can see a couple of ribbons here, which are attaching this board part to the keyboard. I'm not going to use this keyboard anymore. Just pull it out. I don't know, it's too bad, this is rubbish. There's nothing that can be done with it. It's, it's going in the bin. So, what I have now is this base. And the piece that I want is this board here. This is going to be a USB hub for me. If I could snap bits off it, I would, but I don't know what I need and what I don't, so I just gotta keep it all out. It's an awkward shape, but I'll live with that. So let's see, what have I got? A couple of Phillips, a couple of little Phillips cross screws in there. I just got a jeweler's screwdriver. Take that out. Take that out. One more in the middle. Take that out. Oh, and one here under the cable, kind of hidden. That's it. Undo the cable here. So 
No, it looks like there's a bit of a problem. This cable is going through here, but it's too. This hole here is too small to get my well, to get my USB plug through. There's no way to get it out without breaking it. It seems. So I'm going to take this this white plastic piece off, and then I guess just break the plastic to get it out. Oh, yeah. Hmm. These screws aren't cooperating. No, those screws are kind of well fastened in. So, let's see. I'm just going to break it up with my knee. What the hell? Okay. There we go. That one's broken there. Broke nicely in half. And set my cable free. So, this is the part I want. This is my USB hub. Um, I don't know what part of this I need. I guess there's all sorts of keyboard electronics in here which I don't need. But I got no choice except to keep the whole lot. I'll put all that rubbish over there. So, basically what I'm going to do with this fella is plug in the stuff I need, box it up, and put it away somewhere so it's out of sight. Will it fit? Yeah, this box looks about right. I got this box here, it's a nice Japanese box there. Fits nicely. Grab my keyboard and mouse. And I'll just plug them in there. I guess that's going in the right way. Yeah. Goes in nicely there. This one goes in nicely. Put my box in there. And put it in its place. So then I can just plug this one key into my keyboard. Yeah, it's working nicely. That's working okay. And that's it. A slightly large. USB hub. But one that'll do the trick more than more than that big keyboard. More than 